hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you to Michelle Colby for singing the National Anthem for us today. Michelle is an RDC alum from two programs as she graduated with a music diploma in 2012 and she earned her business administra administration diploma specializing in human resources just last year. Thank you for being part of our ceremony, Michelle. To all of our viewers, distinguished faculty and staff, parents of friends of Red Deer College, and most of all, to the class of 2021, Welcome to RDC's 57th Convocation Ceremony. My name is Guy Pelche, and it's my pleasure to serve as the Board Chair for the RDC Board of Governors. I'm pleased to share this milestone with you today, and this is just as true in this online celebration as it would be in person. Your graduation is a day of celebration, and we are so honoured to share it with you today. In our Convocation Ceremonies, the first speaker is always a student representative on RDC's Board of Governors, and they share with us the invocation address. I would like to invite Jacob Hyam to share this with us today. Jacob has just finished his third year in the Bachelor of Science Pre-Medicine University Transfer Program, and he has served on the board since 2019-2020 academic year. Red Deer College celebrates the spiritual and cultural diversity of our campus body. As such, I would like to invite everyone to take a moment quietly to reflect or pray for our graduates in your own way, according to your personal religious or spiritual views. On this day of beginnings, on our day of celebration, we express our gratitude and thanks we celebrate the accomplishments of students who have learned and grown and have now reached the significant milestone in life. We give thanks for proud parents, grandparents, husbands, wives, and children. We give thanks for instructors, mentors, and guides. We give thanks for faithful friends. As we look to the future, may we seek to understand the world around us even as we seek to understand ourselves. As we face the trials of life, may we see our knowledge and experience become wisdom that stands the test of time. May we attain not simply what is desirable, but that which is truly worthy in human life. May we earn the trust and friendship of those around us, even as others earn our trust. May we care for others even more than we care for ourselves. And may we always walk forward boldly from here, knowing that we are loved. Take these our hopes and bless those who are graduating today with every joy and success. Thank you, Jacob, for sharing the invocation address with RDC's newest graduates. As we continue with our ceremony, I would like to recognize that the Red Deer College campus is situated on Treaty 7 land the traditional territory of the Blackfoot, Sutina, and Stony Nakoda peoples, and that the Central Alberta region we serve falls under Treaty 6, traditional Métis, Cree, and Soto territory. We honour the first peoples who have lived here since time immemorial, and we give thanks for the land where RDC sits. This is where we strive to honour and transform our relationships with one another. This transformation is something we are deeply committed to, and I know it is very important to all of us here today. I would now like to welcome Cree Métis Community Elder Teresa Larson Jonathan to share a few words. Kate ni temtak. Mikwe again square and sigasong. 
red cloth woman is what I go by. I'm really thankful for the gift of this day. I'm really thankful that we have students like you that have made it this far. And to begin with, I want to just say six simple words, and that is, I am so proud of you. Everyone is, each and every one of us. Maybe not as proud as your mom and dad or your sibling group, or definitely not as proud as your Kukum and Mushroom, but you've done good and you've made it this far and you've made it this far for a reason. I know what it took to get here. I'm the mother of a graduate. I've, I, I know how hard you've had to work and I know how hard it, and different you've probably had to adjust during these times of COVID. Now that I've told you that there's so many of us who are so proud of you, now is the time for you to be proud of yourself because you deserve it. And you are good and you are perfect and you are worthy, not only in our eyes, but in Creator's eyes. Now I want you to go out and spread that good around, go do good in the rest of the world. And that goodness starts with yourself, radiates out to your family, radiates out to your community and radiates out to the world. I really want to, um, I'm very glad that you persevered. And I, if there were times where you felt like giving up, and if you were anything like my son, if there was a time when you really felt like just quitting and walking away, good, okay? For the reason being, is that when you struggle, that's a sign that you're changing and that you're moving towards something that's going to be a little bit different. And if you can persevere and make it through the struggle, when you come out of that struggle, you're going to be a changed person in some ways. And you're definitely going to be a little bit wiser and a little bit smarter and a little bit more able to handle what goes on in this crazy life of ours. So my words that I live by that have been given to me and I learned through the Wellbriety program is, and I'm really thinking of actually getting a tattoo of it, but it's conflict precedes clarity. And I've seen it and I've experienced it and I've learned that. And I've learned not to be scared of the struggle and I've learned not to be afraid of the conflict because before the conflict, or after the conflict will come the clarity of why it all happened or why we went through it in the first in, to begin with. You've made it. Now I want you to go out and wherever you land in your community or wherever you end up making a life or a family, spread that good around, okay? You, you are such a good example. You're really changing the narrative for us. You've done it, and you now wherever you land, wherever you have decide to make a family or live in being part of a community, spread it around. You're setting such a good example, okay, for young people who will even see pictures of you in your cap and gown or run into you at our, in our community happenings. Know that you're planting a seed, all right? And um, know that that seed you plant is going to come to fruition, not only for you, not only for your, your family, but for other people as well. So never ever forget that, never forget that. Indigenous, our Indigenous youth who are graduating, they're graduating in, in droves now. And there's a reason for that because we've learned hard lessons along the way. We know what it takes to, that we want to change that narrative. You, I remember reading a story where one year, the university in one of our major pro, uh, cities had six indigenous graduates. Over the years, that's just like it blossomed and multiplied. Beautiful things are happening and you're a part of it. So close your eyes and imagine that I'm giving you what I would call a great big kokum hug because we all know kokum hugs are the very, very best. And in these times wherein hugging isn't as socially acceptable as it uh, was at one point, and it's really hard on us huggers and it's very hard on Indigenous people, period, and all people because we're so uh, loving and so connected to each other. 
I want you to know, you know, we all know that everybody's getting up every day and facing a new battle head on, okay? Face your battle. Live your struggle. Live with courage. Love with courage. Be like that buffalo, okay? The teaching of that buffalo is that when things are really, um, when there's a really, really bad storm, if you watch a herd of cattle, they'll all huddle up in one corner of that field. One will always try to get inside where it's most protective and warm. But a buffalo, a buffalo will turn, stand by itself, and face that storm head on. Be like that buffalo. You have a voice. Oh my goodness, this is such a good one for me. It took me a long time to get to a point where I could use my voice. Sometimes now I use it a little too much, but you have a voice and you have a responsibility to use your voice and you have a responsibility to use your voice responsibly, okay? Because there will be times when the only wrong thing to say will be nothing. Remember you and all of humanity, all of humanity are part of an amazing, amazing miracle we call life on an amazing, amazing round globe spinning in the sky called Earth. Protect that Earth. Take care of it, okay? Because not only does it begin and end with family, it begins and ends with our relationship with the Earth. Now, this is the mom side of me. I want you to all take time to thank your supports who got you this far, okay? I think of my son every time he came home from university, go come and slide him 20 bucks for Tim's, okay? If you had a cocom or an old uncle that did that, make sure you thank them. Make sure you thank your mom and dad. Make sure you thank whoever got you funding, okay? Buy a coffee for that teacher that was more than patient with you, okay? My, um, get to know, maybe set up lunch date with that one student in class you always wanted to get to know, but never it just never happened. Make these connections. These are beautiful connections right now that will travel with you through life. Connect and be strong together. If you have children, hug your children. They're precious, okay? And you think your generation's doing good, this next one coming is going to do amazing things because of you, all right? Hug your mom and dad. Hug, your, hug whoever you call a mom and dad. Definitely, if it's safe, hug your Coco and Michelle. And for sure, hug your mom, okay? Because like me, I know, all right. To all our amazing Indigenous graduates, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. We are so proud of you. Love from Corky. Hi, hi. Thank you, Elder Jonathan. We truly appreciate you being part of our convocation ceremony and sharing your wisdom with our graduates. I would also like to acknowledge the many other individuals who have shared their time knowledge and support for the graduates of 2021, including all of my colleagues on the Board of Governors, senior leaders, faculty and staff, RDC's Alumni Association and alumni, RDC's Foundation Board and supporters, our partners from government, industry and organizations across Central Alberta, and all of the family members, friends and community supporters who have had the most personal impact on our graduates. Thank you for all of you have done for our Red Deer College graduates. As I have reflected on this Convocation Day, I feel it is essential to acknowledge and emphasize the importance of what each of you has accomplished with your graduation. I strongly believe in the value of education. On an individual and personal level, pursuing an education and receiving your credential is very powerful. By committing to your studies and your program, you have gained knowledge and skills that are specific to your discipline. And you have also learned so much more. You have gained life skills which are almost intangible and so easily overlooked, but are an important part of your future. The steps you have taken and the growth you have achieved, both personally and professionally, positions you for success in your career. When you consider your career and how you will contribute to your community, the second essential aspect of education becomes apparent. Education is vital for society as a whole. 
When individuals choose a path to better themselves, whether for career or personal reasons, our society is collectively strengthened and improved. The contributions that you will make in your workplaces and in your communities as innovators, leaders, volunteers and community members will strengthen the fabric of this entire region. And I cannot overemphasize the importance of this. And I thank you for all that you have already done and for all that you will achieve. I am passionate about these sentiments and I feel they ring true for each graduate who has proudly earned their credential. But when I consider this past year, I would also like to acknowledge the extra commitment and dedication that you, RDC's graduating class of 2021, have demonstrated. You could have taken a year off, delaying your studies due to the pandemic, but you chose to stay. And you have elected to finish your program, even though it may have been challenging, and it might not have been what you originally anticipated. You have shown incredible commitment toughness and adaptability. These qualities relate directly to the life skills that I mentioned earlier, and they will continue to serve you well no matter where your paths lead. The journey you have been on while at RDC has been individual for you, and it has also been possible thanks to the entire college community. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the faculty and staff for their tireless commitment and dedication. All of us on the board recognize the work that you do and the essential role that you have in educating and supporting our students. Post-secondary education is a journey that takes many people to make it successful, and you are an important part of this. I thank you for all of your contributions. Graduates, as you look ahead, I encourage you to embrace all the possibilities and to pursue your future with passion. Whether you are moving on to further studies or beginning your career, you are positioned for success. Thanks to all that you have achieved at Red Deer College. And as we look to the future of RDC, we are very encouraged that our institution will forge a new path as a polytechnic institution. This new designation will allow for us to grow and evolve, building on our strengths while continuing to meet the needs of our learners and graduates in exciting new ways. While RDC will evolve, know that your place in our community will never change. You are now part of the strong and dynamic group of RDC alumni, and this is something you should be very proud of. Congratulations to all of RDC's graduates. And now, I would like to invite the president of Red Deer College, Dr. Peter Nunota, to share a few words. Thank you, Guy. To all of the new graduates watching today, the graduating class of 2021, congratulations. While we are celebrating your achievements in a different way this year, this milestone and what it represents remains every bit as important. Today is about celebrating growth. In a year that may have felt stagnant in some ways, it is even more critical that each of you take a moment to pause and acknowledge the growth that you have achieved. As Guy mentioned in his speech, and I would also like to emphasize, this growth is so important. When you started your journey at RDC, you placed yourself on a path that has inevitably changed and shaped your life in many ways. Pursuing an education has had an immense personal impact on each of you and has undoubtedly impacted those closest to you, your family and friend group, your supporters. I commend all of our graduates for immersing themselves in the post-secondary experience. And I also thank everyone who has supported our graduates along the way. We all have the best chance of success when we have strong connections, providing love and support. I believe in this as a parent, and as someone who has dedicated his life to post-secondary education. Thank you to all of the parents, spouses, significant others, close friends, and community connections who have supported our graduates. You've played a critical role in their success. But graduates, today is about you. It's about the dedication 
and resilience that you've committed to your studies. Each of you put in the time getting up early and staying up late to complete assignments, pushing through when things may have seemed practically impossible. And I have to acknowledge the challenges of the past 15 months. Yet despite this, and no matter what the global circumstances have been, you have risen to the challenge. You have succeeded in the midst of formidable odds, and you have earned your credential. Plus, you've grown in amazing ways that will benefit you for the rest of your life. I'm so proud of you, graduates, and I can confidently be, speak on behalf of all faculty and staff when I say that we are all proud of you. Your instructors may have been with you for a few months or a few years, but know that they have been incredibly invested in your journey. At a more normal convocation ceremony, you would have a chance to see them, to hug them, and to feel the support that they would shower upon you. Personally, I have yet to shake the hand of a graduate from Red Deer College, and I am so eager to do this. Even though we're not able to gather this year, I hope that you know how much we support you and how proud of you we are. I hope you can feel it when you think about your instructors and when you connect on RDC's social media platforms. I ho also hope that you are incredibly proud of your achievements. You are now a graduate from Red Deer College. You have earned all of the accolades you receive and you deserve every success in the future. And I'd like to leave you with one parting thought from Winston Churchill, a global leader at a time of great challenge for his own country. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Go out and be great, as I know you will. And now I would like to invite RDC's Vice President of Academic and Research, Ms. Kylie Thomas, to say a few words. Thank you, Peter. And thank you, Guy, for your acknowledgement that started us today and connecting us to this land where we work, learn, and play, and most importantly today, celebrate. I also thank you, Elder Teresa, sorry, Elder Teresa Larson Jonathan, for joining us today and celebrating our graduates. To all of our graduates, congratulations. I honor you and all of your accomplishments. You may be watching this online celebration with a small group or perhaps by yourself. So I feel it's important for you to really appreciate the scope of your graduating class. You are just one of 1,619 graduates from Red Deer College this year. There are more than 1,000 graduates from credit programs, 407 in apprenticeship, another 165 in our collaborative programs, and more than 40 from our accounting technician and pre-employment trades programs in our School of Continuing Education. In addition to this, I'm very pleased to share that among you are 60 graduates who have chosen to be recognized with an Indigenous graduate convocation stole. The blue stole they receive was created with input from several of our Indigenous communities, and it acknowledges the students' academic achievements and the completion of your programming at RDC. All of the 1,619 graduates fill me with pride. Pride in that this is one of our largest graduating classes in RDC's history. But within this vast graduating class exists individuals, singular humans, each and every one of you, who made the conscious decision to choose post-secondary education. But not only did you choose to pursue post-secondary education, but you also chose to persist and subsequently succeed in your studies during the pandemic. This is an important consideration, most deserving of acknowledgement. In making this choice, you highlighted your courage. Individually, you each demonstrated bravery in making the decision to participate and engage and subsequently succeed. 
As both Guy and Peter noted, this has been an, a year unlike any other. It was a different learning environment this year and it presented some real challenges. But despite these challenges, you adapted and connected through your online studies. In my role, I am passionate about students, how they learn, what factors help them to succeed. And when you look at the literature in these areas, one of the strongest indications or connections to learner success is the con connection they have with their faculty. At RDC, this connection is something we always pride ourselves on as we have the ideal situation through our programs and smaller class sizes to create opportunities for meaningful connections. These opportunities were not so obvious this year, but you still made connections despite a trying environment. This is an incredibly positive attribute and it demonstrates personal accountability, resilience, and the persistence necessary to serve you well in the future. As you look to the future, I encourage you to continue to be brave, remain open to the possibilities, and stay confident amidst the challenges. Know that your unique talent, knowledge, skills, and perspectives are needed and what's wanted in the world. You, individually, will each bring something to your career and your community that nobody else has, and this will pave the path for future successes. Congratulations, many, many congratulations, and I wish you all the best for all the future holds. And now I invite the president of the Students Association from the 2021 year, Ms. Brittany Lawson, to join us and say a few words. Class of 2021, much like your predecessor class of 2020, you guys have just completed a roller coaster of a year. I wanted to say congratulations on behalf of the Students Association for this accomplishment. Seriously, you guys need to put like resilient, determined, all the good things on your resume because each and every one of you have embodied it by graduating in the midst of a pandemic. As you look back at your time at Red Deer College, I hope you look back fondly at your time studying in the library, grabbing lunch at the far side, trying to speak on a Blackboard class while you're still muted, and remember that you persevered throughout all of it. Whether you're graduating today, transferring to another institution, or moving on to complete further education, just know that your Students Association is cheering you on and wishing you the best wherever your path may lead. We want to thank you for your contributions to the Red Deer College community, and congratulations, class of 2021. You did it! As we near the end of today's ceremony, it gives me great pleasure to introduce one of the special highlights of convocation, which is the granting of an honorary degree. The honorary degree recognizes an individual who has made an outstanding contribution to the social, cultural, or economic development of RDC and the entire Central Alberta region. And today, I am very proud to announce that RDC is bestowing this honor upon Mr. Danny Rode. Danny has had an immense impact on RDC and all of Central Alberta throughout his 50-year career as a sports journalist. He is unparalleled in his caring, ethical, and committed approach to representing athletes of all levels, from grassroots teams to professional leagues. When it comes to RDC athletics, he has represented not just some teams and student athletes, but all of them since 1971. He is known as someone who has never missed a home game, and I find this astounding. He has a reputation of dedicating time and care with each student athlete and coach he interviews, and his articles always present a fair, balanced, and ethical approach to the sports he loves, which are all sports. Danny is truly invested in RDC athletics, and he also demonstrates incredible care and attention for athletes of all ages across Central Alberta. Speaking from an RDC perspective, I can confidently state that he has provided invaluable connections between the college, our student athletes, and our communities. 
and he has helped to place RDC on the map as one of the best colleges in Canada. For all that you have done throughout your career, Danny, it gives me great pride to announce on behalf of all of us at RDC that you are the recipient of the honorary Bachelor of Arts degree in interdisciplinary studies at this year's convocation. Well done. To conclude our program, I would like to share one housekeeping item. Graduates, please be sure to check your mail regularly as you will receive your parchments by mail. If you're graduating from Red Deer College or from Mount Royal University, you will receive your parchment from RDC. If you are graduating from another collaborative program such as U of A or U of C, you will receive your parchment from that institution. As we close out today's ceremony, we will share the names of all of our graduates on the screen. You will be able to select your school and program to view your name as well as those of your classmates. After this, be sure to stay online for congratulations from members of RDC's alumni. Graduates, we celebrate and honor your achievements at RDC, and we look forward to your exciting future. Please remember that this is your school, your alma mater. You are part of what RDC is and what it will be in the future as Red Deer Polytechnic. We thank you for that, and remember, you are always welcome here. Congratulations on graduating from Red Deer College. I'd say my warmest memory with Red Deer College was being able to stay in Red Deer to complete my degree. It was up and down. I had some highs and some lows, but once I found my direction, um, this was a great place to study and learn. Just enjoy what you're doing and continue working hard. There's the life you plan and then there's the life that presents itself to you. And sometimes uh, in choosing those unplanned opportunities, uh, that's where life really becomes remarkable. Enjoy what you're doing and it won't seem like work. Learning doesn't stop when you walk out of those doors. Just carry on and, and just continue for that hunger and knowledge. I just want to wish all of you the very best as you start your new lives. Congratulations RDC grads. I know I had a great time at RDC. I hope you did too. Now on to your next adventure. All the best. I just want to congratulate all of you for completing your education and welcome to the RDC alumni family. As you begin the next part of your journey, I encourage you to remain connected to RDC and think fondly of your time here. Congratulations on this incredible achievement. You have been resilient, you've been dedicated, and you've made it. 
I wanted to give those graduates from this year a huge congratulations on the accomplishments that they've achieved. Just wanted to say congratulations on finishing your time there and graduating. Congratulations graduates on your tremendous achievement. We're so proud of you, so excited for you, and can't wait to see what's going to happen in your future. To our recent graduates, congratulations. You are now newly minted RDC alumni. Uh, I'd like to encourage you guys to stay connected to the college, uh, stay engaged with your fellow alumni. I can't wait to celebrate all that you continue to achieve. Welcome to the Red Deer College alumni community.